we go to high school basketball. Two nationally ranked teams competing for a state title. One of those teams from Virginia Beach, Brian Parsons, joins us in studio for that. Hey, Brian. Hey, Nathan. In Petersburg, Cape Henry Collegiate out of Virginia Beach, undefeated so far this season, trying for its second state title in three years. Standing in the Dolphins' way, Paul the Sixth Catholic out of Fairfax. Plenty of Cape Henry crazies on hand to cheer their team on. Paul the Sixth with a ton of size on its team. First quarter, Cape Henry forces the turnover. Aaron Hutton with the nice subtle fake as he takes it all the way to the rack for the reverse lay-in. Paul the Sixth, though, having its way in the first half. Panthers actually built a 16-point lead at one point. In the second half, though, Cape Henry goes on a run. It's Aaron Hutton again. This time, the runner in the lane, 15 points for Hutton. And then it's Jimmy Page going to get the basket and the foul. An 18-point night for Page. And then a big play here, Chris Clark, the TCIS Player of the Year, the steal, and then the dunk, and he's fouled. Cape Henry within four. They actually closed it to within two, but the Dolphins could not close the deal. Paul, the sixth hands. Cape Henry, its first loss of the season, 64 to 56, denying Coach Mark Hall's team a state championship. Told them it's nothing to hold their head down about. I mean, 26 and one is a miraculous year. Um, just to kind of rehash the, the ending of that game, we had a couple, of, a couple of questionable uh, turnovers and you know, bad decisions, but you're not going to blame it on that. Uh, we were prepared. Uh, we lost to a very good nationally ranked basketball program. Coach Hall loses three starters from this year's squad, but he does have the conference player of the year, Chris Clark, back for a senior season. Nathan. Thanks, Brian, and congratulations to them on a great year. One more high school score. The Bruton Panthers win the Region 2A East title over Prince Edward County, 79-69 in overtime. Bruton now gets ready for the state tournament.